All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the San Antonio Spurs, my NBA franchise, whatever the hell you want to call it. Now, sadly, I recorded the offseason, like, last week. Whole recording was messed up. Terrible. Frame rate? There was no frame rate. It was literally just a frozen screen, the entire thing. So, instead, I'm going to go over all the big signings that actually happened in the league, and then we'll sim some games. Starting off with the Bulls, they signed DeMarcus Cousins. That's really it. Um, the Cavs, no one. They re-signed Jared Allen to a pretty big deal. Um, the uh, Clippers, I think, did they lose out on Kawhi? Because I don't see Kawhi here, and he's usually a free agent. So they might have lost out on Kawhi. They got Otto Porter, and they got Kelly Olenek and Canner. Um, the Grizzlies get Malik Monk. The Hawks get John Collin and Lou Will both re-signed. And they pick up Derrick Rose. So the Hawks are looking interesting. The Heat made a lot of signings. Um, they signed Spencer Dinwiddie to a three-year, $51 million deal. They signed Paul Millsap, Doug McDermott, R Rodney Hood. So the Heat made some big signings, to be honest with you. Um, Hornets, nothing. Oh, they signed Andre Drummond. Okay. They somehow got Devontae Graham on a $6 million deal. Don't don't know how. Um, nothing big for the Jazz. Nothing for the Kings. The Knicks, they get Kelly Oubre. Um, the Lakers, a lot of signings. Um, they re-signed Montrezl Harrell. Um, they re-signed Horton Tucker to a minimum, and they got Taj Gibson. Derek Jones is going over to Orlando. Uh, Dennis Smith goes back to Dallas on a, um, what, two-year, $18 million deal. So what's that, like, nine mil? Yeah, nine mil a year. They got Frank Kaminsky and Reggie Jackson. The Nets bring Pau Gasol in. They re-sign Blake Griffin. They bring in Cameron Payne. Interesting signings. Winslow goes to the Nuggets. Um, Schroeder to the Pacers. Um, Rudy Gay to New Orleans. Um, James Johnson's going back to New Orleans. He's re-signed. They re-signed Lonzo Ball on a big-time contract. Um, Nicholas Batum to the Pistons. They Oh, okay, there's Kawhi. Kawhi signed with the Pistons. Ve very interesting. The best part is, before the Spurs franchise, it was between the Spurs and the Pistons. I was going to use either the Spurs or the Pistons for this franchise. I chose the Spurs, and now the Pistons have Kawhi Leonard. Um, the Raptors, they bring in Chris Dunn. They re-signed Kyle Lowry. That was interesting. Gary Trent, they bring back. Uh, Houston Rockets, they bring in Hassan Whiteside. They bring in Norman Powell. Um, nothing else other than that. DeMar, oh yeah, we re-signed DeMar. These are our signings. There's a bit that's changed, I think, but we brought back DeMar. On, I'm planning on signing and trading him. I'm not sure if I already did it, to be honest with you. I forget. Um, we brought in Bobby Portis. We brought in uh, other players like B. Leeds and Danny Green just to fill out the rotation. Um, Suns, no significant signings. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. to the Thunder. Now we're getting to, like, nothing significant. Like, the Blazers, nothing. Um, the Warriors, they bring back Kevin Looney. And they bring in... um. Gerald Green. Dion gets a job. He's in Washington with Alec Burks. And that is all the notable signings. And for the roster, as you can see, there is no DeMar DeRozan. Uh, where did I trade DeMar DeRozan? <laughs> I forgot. All right, hold on. Let's go to trades. Let's go to trades. Um, trade. All right. So we traded DeMar DeRozan for Obi Top and Al Horford and first round pick. Huh. Uh, okay, uh, Nakaproto we traded for a first, and Derek White we traded for a first and two seconds. So we got Obi Toppin for DeMar. Interesting. He dropped 19 in his first game, so. Uh, so draft-wise, I forgot about the draft. <laughs> I forgot that even happened. So yeah, we drafted Jonathan Kuminga um, fifth overall. We had the projected number one pick, and we fell all the way down to five. Um, we drafted Charles Bassey with the second round pick. Um, I'm hoping he, I'm not sure if he's going to be our starting center, but I'm hoping maybe he'll be a solid backup. And I believe, yeah, those are all, those were our two draftees. So, very interesting. This is what the rotations look like. DeJounte Murray, Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell, Obi Toppin, and Al Horford. Um, we got Kuminga off the bench. Now, when I drafted Kuminga, I kind of forgot that I had Vassell and Keldon Johnson. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Then I traded for Obi Toppin because Kuminga can play power forward. But now that we have Obi Toppin, he ain't playing power forward. So we got to figure this out in a few years. 
Al Horford's just here to be here. We're not going to trade him. He's on the last year of his contract as a team option. If he plays really good, he might be um, getting traded to a contender. We might buy him out. I don't know. But yeah, we have a lot of wings on this team. So, a lot of wings that need to get minutes. Um, I'm not sure. Keldon Johnson. Dev still had a really good first game. Keldon Johnson played solid. Keldon Johnson could maybe be a trade candidate by the trade deadline if he doesn't pan out. Because if that's the case, we'll move Vassell to the shooting guard and we'll have Kuminga. At small forward, same thing, Obi Toppin. If he doesn't really have that great of a season, we'll end up trading him probably. But anyways, the team is how it is. Um, I'm going to sim to the end of January. Yeah, we'll sim to this February 1st game against the Knicks. And see how bad we do. Um, That trade's not happening. Jante Murray is most likely untouchable. I don't plan on trading him. Uh, my, yeah, no, I don't. Maybe I should put him on the untouchables list. Leave rotation as is. Um, Tyrese Matt, we don't need another guard. So far, we're not as bad as I thought we were. We're 4-4. Four four. Leave rotation as is. This is why I hate about 2K. I should just shut injuries off. I have injuries on 10. And as you can see, like, every game, someone gets hurt. It's mad annoying. But he's going to be back from injury. So, we're winning games. We're the 7th seed right now. And DeJounte Murray keeps getting hurt. So, okay, now we're going to be going on a bit of a loot. Hey, listen. We might be buyers. If we're going to be doing this good... Leave rotation as is. If we're going to be doing this good, we might buy it. Okay. DeJounte Murray's going on the untouchables list. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people trying to trade for him. But yeah, we're doing really good to start off the season. We're 12 and 9, and we're currently the three seed somehow. And they're themselves they're out. Awesome. Uh, we'll check out the player stats once we um actually get to that Knicks game. But Devin Vassell goes out. That means Jonathan Kuming. Everyone is on fire, bro. Every player is on fire. Um, I don't think anyone else is going to get those minutes. Um, Kumenga will give you 31. Lonnie Walker, 28. 21 for Bobby Portis. 17. I guess 14. So, how, how are you tired, Al Horford? You're literally playing no minutes. Um, yeah, no, this seems about right. Yeah, sim to this next game. And then we'll see how we are. Ah, that that moves in Devin Vassell is probably going to hurt. We we beat the Mavs. Can we beat the Pacers? They're not a good team. Come on. Beat the Pacers. Please beat the Pacers. Why is this simming so slow? DeJounte Murray's already playing. We lost by four. Can we beat the Cavs at least? We do beat the Cavs. And we are currently 14 and 12 so far in this season. Sitting at the sixth seed. I forgot that once I go over the social media, the screen glitches out. Um, I don't know why DeJounte Murray is mad. Um, but yeah. We're a half a game out of fifth and a game... This is very interesting. I got to go over this social media thing real quick. Let's check the stats so far. Um, OB Toppin's dropping 21 and 6. Well, <laughs> I think it's fair to say OB Toppin's going to be staying. <laughs> oh my god. He's killing it. Keldon Johnson's averaging 16 and 6, shooting 56%. DeJounte 16, 7 and 6 and 2 steals, shooting really bad from 3, but what a Oh my god, Devin Vassell is even having a great... Two steals, 14 points, four rebounds. Shooting well, honestly. 42% from three. Kuminga off the bench is averaging 13. Lonnie Walker, 11. Bobby Portis averaging eight off the bench. Al Horford, eight and five in a block. He's playing really bad. Honestly, he might fall out of the rotation. I might take him out of the rotation. Because he is just not helping. Uh, Trey Jones is not doing what I expected him to. He had a solid rookie year, but he's not playing the way I thought. I might honestly be taking Al Horford out of the rotation. He's always tired. Do we run real small ball and put Obi Toppin at center? When, um, whatchamacallit comes back. Right now, we're going to start Charles Bassey, see how he does in the starting spot. And Al Horford's going to lose his spot in the rotation. I'm sorry. We're a good team. We're contenders so far, at least for the playoffs, but... He's just not holding his weight. We'll bring in Bielitsa. No, we already have backup out. But, you know, he can... You know, we'll keep out Horford, and we'll play him some minutes off the bench. All right? We'll play him some minutes off the bench. We'll play him 10 minutes. Then, other than that, we are chilling, I think. Yeah, we're chilling. We'll Charles Bassey that. Now, let's see. First game starting for Charles Bassey. Why is this taking so long? Can we win? Is the question. If this game decides... Nope, we lost by 15. All right. Uh, against DeMar's Knicks. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. DeMar dropped 22. Julius Randle had a near 20-20 game. Obi still dropped 20. Um, Where is Charles Bassey? Nine points, five rebounds, a block. 
Only took five shots and he made a three. So solid first game for Charles Bassey. Um, how are the Knicks doing? How are the Knicks doing? The Knicks are not in the play. Oh, they're not very good at all. <laughs> they're currently the 11th seed. They're not starting DeMar? Why are you not starting DeMar? I might do him a favor and I might move RJ to shooting guard so they can actually start DeMar. And I might move quickly to power. I mean, on point guard. Actually, no, Jalen Suggs is chilling. Um, they're starting Myers Leonard at center. Who is there? Oh, Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, I guess he's hurt. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up moving RJ Barrett to a shooting guard. Um, But yeah, 19 and 6 Celtics. They're doing really good. Pistons is chilling. Um, any surprises? Not really. I don't think there's any surprises besides us being the seventh seed so far and being only a half a game out of fifth. Um, but so far, no surprises. The OKC Thunder, bit surprising to be up here. They got Serge Ibaka back. But Trailblazers are really bad. That's different. I forgot the clip. Paul George on the Clippers, who's really bad. If we are honestly contenders this season, we could <laughs> we could look to trade for Paul George. If not, he could be a free agent this season, is he? Nah, he resigned. Depending on how it gets to the trade deadline, um, I might look to trade for Paul George because the Clippers are not good. They're not good at all, and he could be on the trade block. Uh, why is the simulation so slow now? Yep, yeah, we lose two in a row. This is not good. DeJounte Murray had a good game. Trey, Trey Young dropped 40. 40. I Seeing how good this team was doing, I kind of want to contend. I don't think we're going to be bad enough. We got spanked by the Clippers, by the way. I don't think we're going to be bad enough to um, get a top pick. Why is this taking so long to simulate? Honestly, I really don't think we're going to be bad enough. So maybe we try and go all in to make the playoffs? Or do we keep, like, developing the young core? Because right now, 18 and 17, I'm definitely not trading Obi Toppin. He's going on the untouchables list, actually. Um... Like, do we go all in? I don't... I really don't know. How is Charles Bassey... Oh, my God. That was a... He shot terrible, but... Let's see how he's doing as a starter. As a starter, he's averaging 13 points, 8 rebounds, and a block and a half. Okay, Mr. Bassey. You're playing pretty well, aren't you, fella? Um, Kuminga, what's he doing as a starter? Um, Kuminga as a starter, he's averaging... He's averaging basically the same thing. 8 rebounds, though. 4 assists, a block, and a steal. That's the thing. I mean, if Keldon Johnson, 24, if we were to trade for um, a Paul George, it'd probably be Keldon Johnson we trade. Um, Bobby Portis, 22 points he dropped in this game. He could be a, a trade target. Um, honestly, let's. Wait, where's the trade deadline? Trade deadline's all the way at the end of March, so we have room. So let's. We'll probably sim all the way to this game against the Pelicans, see where we sit. We get Devin Vassell back, which is big. Um, so Kuminga, I'm gonna switch you with a cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al Horford, you're gonna fall out of the rotation, bud. What were you doing off the bench? Off the bench, he was averaging five points, two rebounds. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, Al Horford. We could look to trade you, but let's go. Um, Bobby Portis, no. Kuminga, you're gonna get all your minutes back. Don't worry. 24 minutes. He's gonna get a bit more than that, actually. Uh, yeah, okay. I gotta take their minutes away. Um, Charles Bassey would take some of yours. Actually, I'm going to give Obi Toppin his minutes. Because he is balling out. Um, Give it to him. We'll give it to... Whatchamacallit. There we go. First game back with Devin Vassell. We beat the Lakers. Who LeBron played terrible. Um, Obi Toppin, 28. Charles Bassey, 23-7. 22 from the Jante Murray. Oh, this team is a lot better. We're the fifth seed right now. We are the fifth seed. Let me just send to this Pelicans game like I said I would. Um, no, I'm not gonna. Lonnie Walker could be a potential trade piece. Contract extension, yes. If DeJounte Murray's mad, I'm gonna be pissed because there's literally no reason for him to be mad. Won't resign. He's content. But I don't I don't understand why he won't resign. You're gonna resign nonetheless. What's your contract? Yeah, you have a team option, fam. Yeah, you're, you're probably gonna come back. If this is your peak, 15-6, you you might get traded. I don't know. Lonnie Walker. Other than that, there's no big free agents. 
Lonnie Walker, he's a free agent. He might walk. I'm not sure if it's worth keeping Lonnie Walker, honestly. Oh, does he have a team option? He might. He does not have a team. Oh, we might look to trade Lonnie Walker because that we could kind of clear up some wing depth because I think he's hit his peak, honestly, because he's not going to be a starter for this team. Definitely not, especially when we have freaking Keldon Johnson and Vassell playing the way they are and Kuminga. He's just not going to end up starting. I can't believe Obi Top is playing this well. <laughs> so we could field offers for him. Let's look at the standings and see what teams are not that good. The Clippers, they're starting to make a run. Uh, they're, only a, they're only a half a game out of the playoffs. So maybe Paul George becomes off limits, seeing that they're making a run. Um, but if we look down here, like the Blazers, they don't have anything that I would be interested in. Like Dame's not going to leave. Um, the Kings, nothing. Because we're probably looking for, if anything, I guess a big, like a center. But Charles Bassey is playing so good. The Pacers, they're 10 and 30. Um, but they don't have anyone I'd be willing to trade for. I'm not willing to get Miles Turner because he's not that good in 2K. Honestly, we might stick it out with this team for this season. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to stick it out with this team for this season. How's the Heat doing? The Heat, they're chilling. The Heat are chilling. They should move. Oh, my God. Why are they so many power forwards? By the way, yeah. I forgot to change them. The Knicks. Let me go to the Knicks, and I'll change them real quick. Um, Knicks. I'm going to put RJ. He, go, he does go down by one, but it's fine. Um, Patty Mills is their backup. RJ, Emmanuel quickly. Okay. I might move quickly to a point guard here. <laughs> yeah, I'll move quickly to a point guard. Because that, that makes more sense, seeing that they have Kelly Oubre. So, who the Heat? Because they have like 17 point um, power forwards. Um, they have no point guard. Uh, wait, no, Dinwiddie. I'm get is Dinwiddie hurt? Why is Dinwiddie? Oh, I'm just stupid. All right. Yeah, they have the X. Okay, that makes more sense then. Okay, good, good, good. Um, small forward wise, they, uh, they're not chilling actually. So we'll move McDermott, I guess, to a small forward. Backup center, they have a Chua. Uh, Maxi Kleber. Kleba, however you say his name. Since, yeah, they're playing a Chua at power forward, so I'm just going to move a Chua to power forward. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but, you know, screw it. It's my... I can do whatever the hell I want. And we'll move Kle... Oh, my God. Kleber goes down a lot at the... <laughs> Whew! Goes down a lot at the center. But they're playing a Chua at power forward anyway, so it doesn't make sense for him to not be there. Um, but other than that, yeah. No. That, there it is. That's all set. I think I'm going to sim to the trade deadline. Um, I And then next episode, we'll sim to the end of the season. As we take out the Raptors. No, I'm not doing that trade. There goes Devin Vassell again. Um, Kuminga, welcome back to the starting lineup because Vassell can't stay healthy. Charles Bassey, his stats are going up. So, he he might have been a diamond in the rough there. Bobby Portis, 9 points, 5 rebounds, shooting pretty well. Good pickup. Trey Jones um, is not starting to pick it up. He might not even be our freaking backup point guard next season he keeps playing like this um we'll give you that much there we go that's good enough he might not even be our back he might not be on the team next season if he keeps playing like this um now we're going fast nope don't want that uh oh we're starting to win oh no nope. we lose to the nuggets we're still the fifth seed though the west is not good this season huh the west is not looking very good we win against the bulls i wonder do we make any trades because I know we're probably not going to do anything in the playoffs. Most likely. So, we're bringing back Devin Vassell. Al Horford, you're losing your minutes. Um, you're losing yours. 17. There we go. Alright, there we go. Everything's back to normal. And boom. And there we go. Can we have an over 500 record? Going. Yo, I am so sick of these injuries. <laughs> I am so sick of these injuries, Duke. The injuries are on 10. Like, why? I don't understand it. Jesus Christ. Simulate through date. Decline the trade. Um, we I don't think we're gonna have any all-stars to be honest. We should. Obi Toppin should be one. And we go on a three-game losing streak. We're still the fifth seed, though. And we're two games out of three. The West is awful. Besides the top two. That's interesting. But we're only a game and a half ahead. Oh. I, I'm liking the team as is. 
Nope, I didn't want rookie report. Um, player stats. Obi's dropping 21 and 5 a game on really good efficiency. Deshante's averaging 16, 7, and 6 with two steals on good efficiency. Keldon's gone down in his points, 14 and 5, but he's shooting really good. Um, Vassell, 13. He's, he's averaging two steals and a block. Kuminga, 13. It, it might, I, I don't know. I'm kind of looking towards running a Vassell Kuminga. Because the defense on the, the wings, with Vassell at shooting guard and Kuminga at small forward, the defense is going to be insane. Lonnie Walker, 11. He's been solid. He's shooting all right. Bobby Portis. I guess I'll keep him on the team. Charles Bassey. 9.6 rebounds, a block and a half. Uh, I'm guessing that's about what he's averaging as a starter. He's averaging 13, 8, and 2 blocks as a starter. Okay, boy. Because off the bench, he was averaging 5 and 5 in a block. He is playing a lot better. Yeah, I don't know why he's taking threes, but you know. Do what you gotta do, big fella. Charles Bassey is... He's looking very promising. Yeah, oh my god, look at the blocks. He's looking very promising. And he's loyal. Al Horford, you're useless. Trey, Trey Jones is also not very good. But I'm really liking Charles Bassey. I think we keep the team as is. And next episode, we sim the rest of the season. Because this team's exceeding expectations. Will we make the playoffs? I don't know. We could. We might not. I, I really can't tell. Um, the, the Knicks are pushing for the playoffs. See, at least a, they, they traded DeMar. They traded DeMar to the Bucks. Do what you gotta do. I mean, you do, you do what you gotta do. The Celtics are really good. The Heat are falling off. They're not good at all. All right, Miami. Oh, Bam's hurt. They traded for Bertons. Who'd they trade for Bertons? Um, they traded Maxi Kleba. Not terrible. But yeah, no. I think we're gonna keep the team as is. And next episode, we'll send to the playoffs. And if we make it... I, I don't... If we make it, we make it. If we don't make it, then maybe a Keldon Johnson, Lonnie Walker could be on the move. But other than that, it's going to be for me. Leave a like, guys. Enjoy. Subscribe, guys. are new. GG.